They're known as the bad boys of Boston, and I've got three of them here. It's Brad, Joey, and Tommy from Aerosmith. Hello, guys. How are you? We are very well. We're very happy to be at the festival here today and uh, looking forward to uh, touring the rest of Europe. Now, you've played uh, twice here before. What does it mean to be back at Donington, such a prestigious site? It's a classic, uh, it's a classic, extremely well done concert. Uh, so it's, it, it's really fun to be part of. And you always, you know, we get to see people we don't ordinarily see for sometimes a year at a time. Yeah. So and have you got any surprises in store for us tonight on, well, on your set? Well, if we, if we tell you what they are, then there wouldn't be a surprise. Oh, come on. You can give you me mean a besides the set. rain? <laughs> yeah. Can you hear that rain up there? I know. Oh, my it's, God. Uh, it's awful. You know, I wasn't sure that uh, we would ever play this gig again because uh, I thought it would become something for new bands. Um, bands that probably weren't even born when we started. So to be back here with you know, a relatively young audience and a real rock audience is uh, something that I didn't even bother to wish for a long time ago, but here it is. Yep, indeed. Now, um, you just got back from South America. You were playing a few gigs out there. How was it? I heard it was a little bit crazy. It was, oh, it the was fan, yeah, entirely the, crazy. Yeah, the yeah. fans there are very enthusiastic, to say the least. Yes. Yeah, and again, uh, a lot of... Uh, really young people that I think have uh, discovered a lot of our music uh, from the internet and probably illegally downloading our music, but, <clears throat> you know, we, we, uh, we're rewarded by the fact that they want to hear us play live. Yeah. And uh, it was so amazing to be playing and seeing people in their teens and their 20s sing along with songs from our second album. Do you still get blown away by that when you see all the fans going crazy? Because I heard it was a little bit like, you know, Beatlemania, that kind of thing. It was. It was yeah. really it was really crazy, but it was it was really wonderful. I mean sitting sitting up on stage looking at it anywhere from twenty to forty to fifty thousand people is like, you know, that's what it's all about for us. That's why we do what we do. How could you not be inspired by that? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it, the energy is so uh, is so intense uh, that you know, you, you can't help but be uh, absorbed up in it. And, and it's yeah, all so it, it, it really helps you relax, and when you relax, you play well. It's really that simple. Does it really? It helps yeah, you relax? Yeah, you can just ride on it. It's like, it's like floating on top of an ocean or something, and uh, without even having to swim. Well, uh, you know, the critics are saying that you're playing better than ever before. What do you attribute that to? Practice, practice, 40 years practice. of practice. <laughs> Well, we did oh. <laughs> we did a lot of rehe we did a lot of rehearsing before we went out, but uh, you know when the crowds are the way that they are and the audience is the way that it it is, and we get the feedback from them that we get, you know that makes it a whole lot easier for us because like Tom said, you can relax, and when you relax and the audience is with you and the band is hitting on all eight cylinders, there's nothing like it. Yeah, and we um, we are really aware that on a lot of different levels we're having a really special moment here. You know, we've got a special, a, a, yeah, right. Is that what I said? That's what I meant to say. Um, not just from the fans, but having our band intact. Six months ago, we weren't sure. Now we're at Donington, so you have to be in a coma not to feel the irony, and, and um, you know that it's, it's just a fantastic uh, feeling to be able to be here, and people really want to hear us play. I can't wait to hear you play. Um, though, you know, there's. Uh... I can't wait to hear us play either. Really? You're Hopefully excited? We will play. Oh, I, got, yeah, I mean, I, I, I look forward to every. The band is playing so good now that I, I just I look forward to every night. I really, really do. I look forward to my playing more than I ever have before because <laughs> I really, I really cherish it now, and, yeah. it's, and it's so good. It's fantastic after all these years. It's amazing. Ah, now. Certainly showed in uh, Sweden the other night. Ah. The tempo is oh, so locked. Well, thank you, Tom. You're very welcome. Are you guys excited about going back to the States? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. We're it's uh, home. You know, to, yeah, it's, to bring it's, it home, to, you know, to complete what we're doing, what we did in South America and what we're going to do here in Europe and then bring it home. It's like the uh, um, third angle of a triangle or something. And uh, it's the, you know, the completion of something that we've... Uh, been uh, really thinking a lot about for a long time. 
Brilliant. Well, listen, guys, I'm going to let you go and get ready. But through the magic of TV, here is Aerosmith headlining at Download 2010. Thank you. Can I see?